morning. So the first thing we do when we arrive is always to wash the boat because of bird shit and dust and whatever not. Whoa, really glad our boat is tiny. Imagine having to clean and maintain that ship. Sailboats are exposed to heat and elements, so they really get dirty fast. It's really important to keep on top of cleanliness and maintenance. We're often not the only ones cleaning here in the marina. We're replacing broken parts in this boat and have to study the manual often. This is not fun because we hate reading manuals. It's not easy. But it has to be done. Because we don't know anything about the boat, uh, we have the manual and in order for us to replace certain parts, we have to find the model number and the size. Their sails are in good condition, however they're really dirty and have wear and tear around the edges, so today we're bringing them down. That's Renee wrestling the sail. The wind often picks up in the afternoon here in Port Klang. Although it just feels like a gentle breeze, with sails open it looks more like a typhoon. After referencing a YouTube video, we finally figured it out. I guess manuals are just too boring to read. Yeah, we did it. So after you book up the base, then you just slide down. Remove the shackle and then we can drop the head sail. We will be washing the sails at home next week. So for now, on to the next job. Bimini, as seen here, has seen better days. So we removed the old one and sent it to a canvas shop to be used as a template for a new Bimini. The new Bimini is made of Sunbrella fabric. And this was perhaps one of the easiest things to fix on the boat. So we have a neighbor and it's a boat that's at RSYC, which is for rent. You can rent this boat and go for a cruise. It's called Sri Tengara. I have to go and fix the pole for the lifeline. So this is loose and Renee's this is loose so Renee's tightening it. You see all those bolts up there? One of them is the pole for the stanchion. That's the thing about boats, huh? You gotta squeeze into weird spots. Fix. Good job. Stone. Season paper stone. Season paper stone. <laughs> so today's plan is the same, which is fixing more things. The only difference is we had to do a scissors paper stone game. Whoever loses will get to fix the head, which is the toilet. I have to take it over. And of course, I won. But I still have to fix it. Mm. 
See? Brown color as rust. <laughs> Out. So this is a toilet bowl since 2007. Can you imagine? Here we are checking the navigation equipment and all of them will need replacement. There's only the wind and the depth. Working. The display not working. Maybe the display is gone. Mm. The power is going. Ah, the power. Because okay. I checked the power is 30. It's already reached here. The original state of the saloon back in January was disgusting. There was cushions everywhere, everything was upside down and it was disgustingly dirty. There was yucky black cockroach stains everywhere before. It's clean now. The galley is completely rotted out. We will recycle the sink but we'll have to buy a new tap. The electric stove is currently not working and we really don't know why. So the cabinetry on this boat is a big job and we're hiring a carpenter to do it. The galley will be replaced. Behind the stairs is the engine bay. The original engine was in pieces spread out on the bed in the aft cabin and on the floor of the galley. There was an oil leak and that has ruined the floor. It looks like the floors will need replacing as well. The cost of a new diesel engine is huge on a sailboat. This is the Yanmar 15 horsepower engine, brand new, and that's getting installed in two weeks. We're looking forward to this installation, which, which will be done by Yanmar. The aft cabin was in such a bad state with the engine parts on the bed and floor. This is the aft cabin now. We will have to replace all the woodwork in here. There was too much moisture which rotted them out. On the left side here, is a doorway which goes towards the stern locker where the water tank lives and on the right side over here there is a vented area for batteries. Over here is where the access is for the engine. Over here on this wall is the main switchboard. This aft cabin is a really busy area. There is also a cabinet behind the door here which is rotten and again that's going to be replaced. This is the VHF and that's not working either. Okay so now now we know everything that needs to be done in down below let's head up to the top side of the boat. This is the cockpit area it was really really gross before so dirty. It's clean now We are servicing the winches next week and ordering new lines. We're getting the standing rigging tuned. And this is the anchor locker. Look how clean it is. Right, so that's all for this week, guys. They're right about boat work being a continuous task. But then we like it because that's how we learn by doing. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and comment below because we love reading your comments. Take care!